I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today I am going to talk uh, regarding the expository sermon. So how can we prepare expository sermon in an easy way and also correctly? There are so many people who are facing difficulty to prepare expository sermon. So even when I was in seminary, there were so many people who were facing difficulty and they used to ask me and even I was facing difficulty before when I kept on preparing and practicing practically and also theoretically and gradually I learned and even still I am learning and especially today I am preparing this video especially for those people those who have requested me to prepare a video uh, regarding the expository sermon and also I am preparing this video for those people who are facing difficulty to prepare expository sermon. So let us start our video together. First thing that you have to do is you have to select the text. And whenever you select the text for your sermon, you have to select the complete pericope. For an example, I have selected 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 31 to chapter 13 verses 1 to 13. This is a complete pericope. And whenever selecting the passage, probably sometimes you may not have the idea regarding the complete pericope. For that, you can refer some commentaries. You can go through some commentaries because they would be uh, given the complete pericope and you can find out the pericope over there clearly. And next thing is, what you have to do is, you have to go through your text over and over again. And more than that, you have to uh, go through the whole book, the whole letter, whole gospel, if you are preaching from the gospel. And uh, you can go through the, the larger background part and uh, that this all the things like larger background and the context, you can, uh, you can get in different commentaries, you can refer different commentaries. And uh, you should understand actually the what is the concept and what is the idea that actually the text talks about and while reading the text over and over again you can note it down the words which have been continuously repeated and also you can note it down the grammatical part of that particular text in which tense actually it has been written is it written in the past tense and the future tense actually what this text is talking about is it talking about the future is it talking about the past and uh, actually what is happening in that particular text in order to understand that particular text clearly you have to understand the context over there for that you, you can refer different commentaries you can you should understand the larger background and after that once you have the complete idea regarding your sermon you can give the topic once you have come up with the topic uh, you have to come up with the subtopics and whenever you come up with the subtopics that Subtopics should be matched with the main topic. For an example, I have given the title for this sermon is Love is the Cardinal Virtue of Christian Life. And when I am giving the subtopic for this uh, main topic, number one subtopic is Christian spirituality without love becomes mere formality. And uh, I have divided the verses like I have given verse 1 to 3 for that. Second subtopic is Love always seeks an edification of people rather than popularity. Verses 4 to 7. And number third subtopic is the supremacy of love endures until the eternity. Verses 8 to 13. So this is the way I have divided the, the text that which I am going to preach. Whenever you are bringing the subtopics that should be connected with the main topic as I have done it like I have here main focus is the love so in three subtopics you can get the love so here main topic focuses on love so this is the way you can bring out your main topic and also the subtopics so now as you are preparing the whole sermon expository sermon first thing that you have to do is greetings and whenever you are doing greetings you have to greet the people the audience and especially to the your whole teachers if you are in the college if you are in the seminary you can greet the principal and all the faculty and all the teachers and also you can greet the audience and uh, and also you can give thanks to all the teachers and all the uh, staff all the faculty 
and the principle for their contribution to your life.